Today, today is a big day for Julia. Should we tell them why? Nah, let's wait. Okay, we'll tell them why, but we won't tell them what it is. So Julia is making her very first big purchase today for herself. I'm excited for you. Big girl purchase. <laughs> it's, it's something that she's wanted for a while now. She's said it repeatedly and uh, she's finally pulling the trigger and doing it. I talk about it like every day. Yeah, so we're gonna be headed to the mall right now, but there's a very specific mall that we need to go to. It's like an hour away. The malls around here don't have have this. Some of you guys may know this mall. It's called the King of Pressure Mall. It is the biggest mall in our area. So let's head there now. Oh, I gotta get gas. Should I just fart in the tank? Ew. Oh my god, an hour and 50 minutes. An hour and 50? Oh, no, 48, sorry. Can Why I... does it show you the longest time though? I don't know. The, the top one shows us an hour and 50 minutes for some reason. Then 40 they minutes. Says, they should put the least amount of time on the top. Well, I guess because you have to pay for the tolls. I'd rather pay a couple dollars than to spend another hour in the car. We have now arrived and so has my pee. I need to go really bad. If not, it's going to be dripping out pretty soon. <laughs> I feel like it's so easy to get lost in this mall. That happened the last time we were oh, here. Oh, yeah. We are trying to find Cheesecake Factory and it was literally on the entire other side of the mall. Yeah, we got lost. I feel like we walked around the mall like once or twice before we even found it. Yeah. <laughs> it was on like a dead end. Come on, girl. You're walking too slow. I'm about to pee myself. I don't have to pee. <laughs> Bro, I literally had to walk halfway through the mall to find a bathroom. Oh, why is it so far away? I did it! I took a piss, bitches! Whoa, look at all the candy. Jeez. All right, I'm gonna tell you guys the story. We're about to be there. Julia's going into Louis Vuitton, but you'll see what she gets. Look at this. They got a line outside the Gucci store. I remember when I came last Christmas to get something from Louis Vuitton, they had a line outside of there, too. But it doesn't really seem to be a line over here. Oh, yes. Yeah, stunting. Oh. There's a two-person line. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Would you ever wear a scarf? Yeah, I love scarves. Yeah? It's pretty. Leave a comment down below. What do you think Julia's gonna get? Is it shoes? Is it clothes? Is it a handbag? Who knows? Okay, we just got in here now. You guys ready to see it? Three, two, one. Bam, there it is. <laughs> Julie is getting her very first purse. You've never had a purse before. No, I have like little bags, like tiny ones, but not like an actual purse. She has a Louis Vuitton backpack this before she has a purse. I know. <laughs> but this is sick. Let's see the inside. And it has like a little like coin pouch in there. I don't know if that's detachable or not. It doesn't look like it. No, that's sick though. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> that's hilarious. They got like, little dumbbells. Wow, how happy are you right now? Very happy. <laughs> so since we're here, they have a Cartier. For my wedding ring, Julia wants to get me a Cartier ring. So uh, we're gonna go in here and try some on. Before we continue with the rest of the video, I wanna let you guys know that today's video is actually sponsored by Manscaped. This is Manscaped's brand new Weed Whacker nose and ear hair trimmer. They have spent over a year reinventing the nose hair trimmer, using only the best materials for performance and comfort possible. This nose and ear hair trimmer comes with the same skin safe technology from their lawnmower body trimmer, which helps reduce nicks, snags, and tugs. Plus, it's water resistant, which makes it easy for wet or dry use and for easy cleaning. This is the only nose hair trimmer on the market that is cordless and has a rechargeable battery for up to 90 minutes of use. When you select the Peak Hygiene Plan with your purchase, you will receive a replacement blade every three months delivered straight to your door. You can get 20% off your order plus free shipping using my promo code LANCE210 at manscaped.com. And see if I even like them. You know what I mean? You don't want to get something and I don't like it. Of course, I'm a appreciative of anything that I receive, but you want to like what you're wearing. This is the one that I'm currently looking at. Uh, it's hard to see, but this looks sick. All right, that's what it looks like on me. And then here is this one as well. This is cool too. I still, I like that one. I yeah. Like this one more though. And then here is this one. That one when, looks good actually. Yeah. You like this one better? Yeah. You guys let me know, what do you like better? Me and Julia like this one, but if it was bigger like this without the black ceramic on it. Alright, I don't know how we even got in there, but they literally came up to the door saying that we needed to make an appointment. Like, yeah. we had to call and make an appointment, but then somebody let us in, so we got lucky. <laughs> it's weird, I've been in there before, and they, they never made I, you do that. I guess, I guess it's because, because of COVID. COVID yeah. yeah, they're super strict. Now we're gonna grab some food. Julia's been craving about this place called Sweet Greens. I've never had it before, you pretty much make your own salad. Here we are. Oh my gosh, that's a bigger salad than I thought I was gonna get. I got tofu in here, chicken, lettuce, dressing, carrots, and some other stuff I don't even remember. Whoa, that's a lot of sauces. I think I'm gonna stop eating there. I know I can eat way more, but I'm gonna have a major stomach ache, so I'm stopping myself. This is literally insane how many sauces they have. It's only been a half hour since we were here, and now the line's all the way out here. Now Gucci has like no line. Ow! 
I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna dislocate your shoulder. Bro, that hurt. Look, you took my mask down. <laughs> All right, will it fit in the front? We shall see. Oh, perfect. Perfect. So last night, it was about 10 p.m. Me and Julia were about to go out and grab some food. I shut off all the lights in my house, and then I hear a knock on my door, and I'm like, uh... Who the hell is knocking on my door this late? I open it and I'm so confused because it's this guy holding a couple of bags. He asked me if this was the address that he had written down and I confirmed it. But when I looked down at the bags, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's probably for me. And what was in that bag was 11 bags of kettle chips for grandma. <laughs> Look, we literally have all these bags full of kettle chips. And there's a note on here that actually says from Anthony. We're about to go surprise grandma with these right now. She's gonna be so happy. That's literally her favorite potato chip ever. Bah! Ah! <laughs> I got a surprise for you. What, you gotta something? Yeah. Close your eyes. Open up. 11 bags of kettle chips. You didn't. I didn't. A fan did. <laughs> You're kidding. Anthony, the one who sent the licorice, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, Gio wants some too. Oh. I was posting notes in there too. Oh, thank you so very much. Grandmom's gonna finish these in two days. Oh no, I can't. You're gonna gain 50 oh, I'm pounds. I'm gonna make these last. <laughs> like she's gonna open up two bags right no, now. No, I'm getting something out of here. <laughs> Not only that, but there's one more thing that he sent as well. A balloon that says, thinking of you, connected to a bunch of flowers in a vase. Grandma, look, there's one more thing. He sent you flowers. Oh, that was so thoughtful. Thank you so very much. I feel like it's never ending at this point with the packages. I literally just got this in the mail. Somebody sent me an entire box of Reese's. I mean, I love these. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I like that. <laughs> Not only that, there's another package here, which you guys probably know what this is. This just came in for grandma. Turtle blanket, like a fleece blanket. I'm sure she's going to love this, so I'm going to go get this to her. You don't feel good? Oh, I'm very tired today for some reason. I don't know why. You seem like you need a new blanket. I didn't feel... <laughs> Somebody sent in a turtle blanket for you. Oh, made my day. Oh, that's so sweet. There's another Thank package you. down there for you. You want to bring it up? Yeah, I don't feel like going down. Okay. Oh, this is so soft. Right? Oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Who sent it, Lance? Oh, I just had the letter. Let me go grab it. That's from TJ Gilbert. Oh, uh, thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Here's a card. Oh, my God. Uh, I can't even get it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's all licorice. To Grandma from Beckham. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, bless us, Jesus. Please stop sending licorice. We appreciate it. Yes. We just got too much now. Definitely appreciate it. Another day, another package. Or should I say, three packages. Oh my gosh. Like, all right, you know what? Lance doesn't go to the P.O. box anymore. We're just gonna send it to his house. You know what? I got one of these the other day and I literally threw it out and I didn't record it. If you send me one of these, I'm throwing it out. I'm not keeping it. You're just wasting your money at this point, I'm sorry. I don't want these in my house. Oh my god, you know what would be funny? What? If you put it like under your mom's pillow or something. I do a prank on grandma. No, she lays down, she feels it, and she's like, what the f***, a Ouija board? All right, I'm gonna do that. Good, good <laughs> idea. Hey, Julius gave me a fire idea. <laughs> I'll throw it out after. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Julie's about to go deaf. No, like they, they hurt my ears. They do hurt loud. This is from Beckham Going. Thank you so much, bro. <laughs> Somebody sent me a megaphone. <laughs> you guys are funny. Thank you. It doesn't say who it's by, but I appreciate it. Let's get them. <laughs> Grandma. What, babe? I got a little surprise for you. What is it? More liquid? <laughs> no. Oh, good. Your medicine. Oh, thank you. And a package from TJ Gilbert. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh wow. my, that's really a piece of art. It's a turtle snow globe. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Oh, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. More puzzles. Oh, gee. This one is a turtle puzzle, and this one's a mystery puzzle, so you have no idea what to follow through off of. Oh, this is great. Thank you to whoever sent it. I feel like this one's going to be very difficult. You have no image to follow. That's if I don't follow anybody, really. Oh, really? Really? Really, once in a while, I'll look at it. Oh, cool. Jesus will keep me busy for a while. Thank you again. Me and Julia are kind of matching right now. She's wearing my blue hoodie. I'm wearing my green one. 
And we both got black pants on. Hey. hey. But we're currently headed out. We're actually going over to Six Flags with my sister and Dave. It's gonna be super fun. I'm sure Julia's gonna get scared the whole time. Yeah, it's Fright Fest. Because it's yeah. Fright Fest. Yeah. I'm gonna be in my pants. Really? Yeah. Did you bring a diaper? Because I ain't cleaning that up. Wait, 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 I gotta lock my car. Oh my god. Watch her brakes, god damn it. Yeah, you're the one that fucking broke them. I don't feel safe. <laughs> Listen, I just how do you break I had to brakes. get new brake pads or whatever because of you. How do you break brakes? You! That wasn't because of me. Yeah. You destroyed the brake pads. No, I just, you did. I just made it visible. You did. <laughs> Baby, put your in the water. I said, Baby. Why'd you respond to that? <laughs> I was just rolling the window up. Oh <laughs> I was in response to Bray. <laughs> that was her credit card. <laughs> I tried not to bend my nail. I almost took you? my head off. That felt so Thank cool. God the window's off. Oh my God, it would have went out the window. <laughs> See, aren't you happy that I followed what she said? <laughs> I feel like we're swinging left and right. <laughs> yeah, it's because I'm avoiding all the potholes. You used to see Julia, she's just like, <laughs> fucking over every pothole there is. It's like off roading. <laughs> it's fun. It's gonna be phony, you have no shocks. Make a slight right. Oh my god! Stop! Oh, shit. oh my god. Do we need a reservation? What's a reservation for Six Flags? <laughs> uh, I'd like to reserve my spot to walk around the park. We just said reservation. We're gonna drive there and see what happens. We just got here. As you can see, it's getting pretty dark outside and we're pulling up. And now I understand why you need a reservation because obviously they're at 25% capacity because the whole COVID situation. We're trying to go online right now to see if we can reserve a spot. If not, we gotta I drive back. It. So they're trying to figure that out. I'm trying to park. They're packed, guys. Oh my God, I haven't been on a roller coaster in so long. It's about I to have, be even longer. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> I haven't been on one since Disney, my trip. So I went on the website, and I guess this would have been nice to know before coming here, but it says, due to high demand, there are no reservations available. <laughs> Jesus, that's today, Saturday. We're gonna try and finesse our way in. Everything. Everyone's just going under the wires. We might as well, too. Whee! 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 What is this? They make you walk through tents? Oh, the thermal temperatures. Oh, there's another checkpoint. Whoa, fancy. This is our time to shine. Everybody run! <laughs> we got in, they helped us out. You know who you are, thank you. I appreciate you. I don't even know if they'll ever see this, but thank you. Oh, sick. Look at it reflecting off the water. Yeah, that looks sick. There's no way this is 25% capacity right now. There's more people here than I see on like an average day. Yeah. Any time I've ever came here. It also is a Saturday night. Well, that's true. I'm about to go around scaring people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's up, bro? How you doing? Oh, there we go. Nice to meet you. Yo, look at this line. What the hell is this for? Holy crap, that's for one ride. Well, we ain't going in there. Sabrina just got food and a drink, and they didn't give her a straw for the drink. And she's like, how am I supposed to drink it? Because they said no straws in the park. But if you buy their souvenir cup, that, that's when you get a straw. Really trying to sell that cup. Yeah, right? See, she's got a straw. <laughs> you gotta sip it out of that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're just in time. This is my personal favorite part of the night because they let me play with fire and they pay me for it. <laughs> now, if everything goes according to plan, you'll feel like you're at the circus. If everything doesn't go according to plan, you'll be at Burning Man. One, two, three, under the leg, under the other leg. Double spin, Statue of Liberty, baby. <laughs> 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 Right leg. Left leg. Come on, folks, let me hear ya! Let's go! Woo! We're almost done. We're gonna try and finish with one behind the back. Three, two, one. Hey. We are leaving the park now, it's almost 10. We successfully went on zero rides. Zero. Zero, me and Dave are really happy about that. We were gonna go on one roller coaster and then Sabrina didn't want to go on it, so I nobody went on one. I can't go, I get sick. Look, it's better than sitting home doing nothing. <laughs> 